The Seventh-day Adventist Church presents Encounter with Truth. Christianity is about eternal life, salvation in Jesus Christ. Christianity gives you hope, and the hope is the soon coming of Jesus Christ. He is coming for you. That is my hope. This world is passing away. Behold, he comes with the clouds, and every eye will see him. Search the scriptures, and when you search the scriptures, you will know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. I'm a chairman now with Jesus Christ today. I'm a man who is 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 a man I'm preaching about salvation. I want to see you in heaven. I'm going to talk about the book of life. It's your name written in that book. It's a within you and quite in the hall. When you're too for Mr. Boam Wise, speak to me, speak through me. Help me to understand so I can speak the right thing to your people. Thank you so much for answer prayer. Be with me as I speak. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Ghana, you have to be a friend of Ghana National Identity Card. What for? I know that she said we are Ghanaian, we are Ghanaian. But be a wo wo papa di, o mami di, be be a ra wo ho. It is very necessary, very very necessary, especially within West Africa. So that when you're going to Cote d'Ivoire or Togo or Nigeria, you don't have to hold a passport. You can go with it. So the national identity card is is a must. Does it protect your nationality? That is the key. Because it is the card that tells that you are a genuine Ghanaian. You are not a refugee or you are not seeking asylum. It is very important. Does God have an identity for his children? A kingdom. A kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. And he has people who are going to be in that kingdom. He has children he's preparing on this earth to go there when Jesus comes the second time. Jesus is coming again. And you must have an identity. What for? Without the identity, you cannot enter heaven. And that is why this topic I'm going to treat is very important, very crucial. And I'm praying that God will give you understanding so that it will be well with you. My concern, concern, my concern is where is your name? Are you saved? Are you sure you are saved? It is time to bury the past and start all over again. Begin a new life, like you're beginning with the registration of a national identity card. Because in Romans chapter 8, verses 14 to 17, Romans 8, 14 to 17, Paul tells something very, very important. Romans 8, 14 to 17 says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. That is your ID. Your identity is the Holy Spirit in you. For you have not received the spirit of a bondage again to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption. That's it. That's your identity, that you are a child of God. Whereby we cry, Abba, Father, the Spirit is self witness with my spirit that we are the children of God. Into my ID, no? My ID, no? My spirit. And the Spirit of God in me tells God that I'm a citizen of heaven. Me your osoro, nipa me wo ID. The ID is the Holy Spirit in me, and my name is recorded. Sanya we you ID na ya di share computer mo a ya na ya bo number. We be bear everything about you shows up. Samsung ya men so a person ya men ina omu ya identity ah unkwa jen ba ya very easy amount. How can I be adopted? How can I have my name in the book of life? God has a family book. And you must be sure that your name is in that book. Anana, Abusia, I will Abusia book. And so Abusia, I will Abusia book. In Tuku, a year, say, could you out to a near ticket with him say, Obey, you know what ye be. 
If you don't do that, when you die, they will not attend your funeral. It's very important. So is God as well. You belong to the family of God. You are not just a Christian going to church. You have your citizenship is in heaven. That is what Paul says. You are given a new name, a saint. And these saints are those who are going to march into the kingdom of God. God's family book is real. All those who have been saved have their names in this book of life. It's very important. Let me read that to you. If, if, Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 and 2, and then 11 to 13 and 19. And you have, and you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. You were not a citizen of heaven before. No, you were not. Wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world. When some kingdom in the when some kingdom in the world register, until when some in Mankwana, oh yeah. According to the prince of the power of the, of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. When some register within the womb, when my ayahs were in the womb, and within the womb, why do you have? When some in the womb, when you have a daughter, when you have a boyfriend, when you have a girlfriend, 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 he knows everything about you. And now listen to Paul. Verse 11, wherefore remember, Andrew Seu, that you being in time past, you were a Gentile in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh, made by hands, that at that time you were without Christ, which is true. I was not a Christian without Christ. You were I-A-N, Ian. I am nothing, a drunkard, a, a, a homosexual, a lesbian, a thief, a liar. I was an idol worshiper, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and the strangers from the covenants of promise. You were having no hope and without God in the world. You were not part of the citizens of, of God. You are ID. You didn't have any ID in heaven that shows that you are a citizen of heaven. But now in Christ Jesus, you who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. Praise the Lord. Yes, so much and in tea. I'm not aware the citizen of the kingdom of God. May a citizen. Verse 19. Now, therefore, Andrews Ewu, you are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. I now belong to the family of God. Me and Yami Busieni. Me and Yami Busieni. So every Christian who is going to go through the process we are going to talk about is your identity. Uh, identity that you, you are a citizen of the kingdom of God. Is your name in that book? When somebody is adopted, let's say you, uh, your child has been adopted to America. Once the person is adopted, some things change. A Ghanaian adopted by a British or an American your own name changes to a new name. Now the adopted parents can give you a new name. Secondly, your country changes. You cannot be adopted and remain in Ghana. Thirdly, your dressing changes because you cannot wear t-shirt during winter as you wear it in Ghana. It's very hot here now. But in America, it's very, very cold. Until you wear t-shirt. So your dressing changes, your diet changes. What you be anyhow? You watch you watch your some more. You can't change your diet. No, what do you ask, sir? You are going to eat vegetables. Your diet is changed. Fruits and vegetables, salads. Your lifestyle changes. Bra, what the da? Bra, what the sorry? It changes. There is a better home and a better future. When pa wow da so dem wow da. Actually, said that's you be ye ye. We in here, we American citizen. So it is with our adoption into the family of God. Everything has to change. So by any me ba. As I said, be a war hono. As I said, my movie and adao. You come just as you are, but you don't remain just as you came. No, 
There must be a change. You must have an identity that you are a Ghanaian. God's family book has some names. He has a family in heaven and on earth. People who accept the grace of God and have uh, forsaken sin, confessed their sins, and have accepted Jesus Christ as their personal Savior, have their names written in the family book of God. In Luke chapter 10, verses 17 to 20, let's listen to what the Bible says. And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning and fall from heaven. Behold, I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding in this, rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. There you are. So in heaven, every believer has his name written in the family book of God. We deal with sorrow or identity. That's what Jesus said in John 17. This book is called the book of life. Listen to Paul in Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4, verses 3 and 4. Philippians chapter 4, verses 3 and 4. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help those women who labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers, whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. You have an identity. Christ never sinned. Yet because he became one of us, he had to be listed in that book too. Yes, why your money? But the son is say, what about you say? Listen to something very interesting. Luke chapter 3. Luke chapter 3, verses 21. Luke 3, 21. We are talking about salvation. And be sure that you understand me very well. And follow the steps that we are going to study together. It will help you. It will help me. I apply it in my Christian principles. Luke chapter 3, verse 21. Now when all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also, being baptized and praying, the heaven was opened, and the Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon him. And a voice came from heaven, who said, Thou art my beloved Son, in thee I am well pleased. Huh? Something is going on here. Jesus has been identified. He has been given an identity card, so to speak. The Holy Spirit came upon him. And Jesus himself began to be about 30 years of age, being as was supposed the son of Joseph, which was the son of Heli. Listen very carefully. So it's listing the names of those who are listed in the book of life. And listen to where Jesus is going to end. I'm reading, uh, I'm continuing from verse 34. Which was the son of Jacob? Which was the son of Isaac? Which was the son of Abraham? Which was the son of Sarah? Which was the son of Nacor? Which was the son of Saruk? Which was the son of Ragau? Which was the son of Phalek? Which was the son of Heba? which was the son of Salah, which was the son of Canaan, which was the son of Aphaxad, which was the son of Shem, which was the son of Noah, which was the son of Lamech, which was the son of Methuselah, which was the son of Enoch, which was the son of Jared, which was the son of Melilil, which was the son of Canaan, which was the son of Enos, which was the son of Seth, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of God. Oh, see, I'll link you. I can't. Abusianwa, when you was serono. I'll link you. I can't. Because I'll be at the same time. So it is very necessary. So once on, you'll be link with you. You need to see a boy or sua. To send your boy, you know. So I'll prepare and you see. Let me read that to you. You'll be link to the heavenly family. Galatians. Galatians chapter 3. 
Galatians chapter 3, I'm reading from verse 26 to 29. Galatians 3, 26 to 29. For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. So what you used to do near Bobosua, what by any Busiani, who identity card, and that is the Holy Spirit in you. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. You are a Christian. You bear the name of Christ like a Ghanaian. You bear the name of Ghana. That is your nationality. So now you become a citizen of heaven. You are in transit. You are waiting. What a change was as he so say you should be Bible for our call. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ. If ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Into Yamia Linko to Abraham. To send your link Jesus to Abraham. It's very important. So be your ID. ID Shen Yi, you're very careful. The book of life. Is in heaven, and be sure your name is listed. In your sorry book, no, in your sorry book, no, in your son, I was in a book, no, where the a yamini book, I was heaven way back from Adam Bresso, and then you be a book, no. Only Christ is in charge of this book. Revelation chapter 13, verse uh, 8. Revelation 13, verse 8. In per seven day Bible or support to be and Becca. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. That him. I'm not going to explain that. Whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the world. You remember when Adam and Eve sinned, God gave cover them with a, a coat of an animal. An animal had to die. Before had, God had to cover them with the skin of that animal, who was slain from the foundation of the world. Inti Nkombu Kuno is from the beginning, from the time of Adam. It's a very important book. He is the head of the family, Jesus. Any Abusian penny, the church does not save you. The church that you are attending does not save you. Only Christ will save you and be sure you have his identity in you. Do you know him? Does he know you? What happens if your name is not in that book of life? What happens? So within him one more. What will happen to you? I saw the Oko in Ayakwa. You are wasting your time. Revelation twenty one Revelation twenty one verse twenty seven. And there shall in no wise enter into the city of God anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. And this year we even find it very serious in Pauchel. We didn't come one more. You can never be in heaven. Never. It will never happen. It is imperative to have your name in the book of life. But how can I? Christ is going to tell you how. He told Nicodemus. Nicodemus was a member of the Sanhedrin. He knew the Bible, all the Old Testament, while we are going to him. But Jesus told him something in John chapter 3, verse 5. I tell you the truth. No one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born of water and of the Spirit. Heaven, you are out. You are Identity card, no identity card, no so in here, in here, pa so many. In God's final judgment, what special books will be used as a reference? You may be what a now books to be no to be what a because so called to your dockets and some what some no charges and no a winning ammo. Let's read from the Bible, Revelation chapter 20, verse 12. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, which is the book of life. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. So we knew that you can do anything you like. You can do anything you like. Once saved, you are always saved. That is a lie. You must be sure that your name is in the book of life. 
It says books were opened. What are the books? Number one, your personal book, Psalm 56, verse 8. It's about you. Two, the book of remembrance, Malachi chapter 3, verse 16. The book of death, Revelation 20, 15. And the book of life. In Revelation, we read of the river of life, a tree of life, and the book of life. And that is what we are talking about, the book of life. It's very important that your name be there. Your name has to be there. What is said to be in the book of life? Philippians 4, 3. I have told you already. Names of the children of God. Those who have accepted Jesus and have been baptized. Names of the saints. Who is a saint? Revelation 14, 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. They have two identities. You may ask, what is the faith of Jesus Christ? Hebrews chapter 5. Verse 7 to 8. Hebrews 5, 7 to 8. Yenti, Yesu Nijirini say, Hebrews 5, 7 to 8. Who in the days of his flesh, that is Jesus, when he had offered up prayers and supplications, with strong crying and tears unto him, that was able to save him from death, that was in Gethsemane, and was said in that he feared, though he were a son, Yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. Jesus was obedient to his father. He allowed himself to be crucified. He laid down his life. Yes, he was obedient to God. It is citizens of Ghanaians obey the constitution of Ghana. Citizens of heaven obey the constitution of God, which is the Ten Commandments. And the devil is telling you it is not necessary. My dear brother, be careful, be very careful. The devil is misleading you. Matthew 7, 21 to 23. Jesus says, not all those who say, Lord, Lord, shall be saved. No, except those who do the will of God. For many will say, I cast out demons, I was speaking in tongues, I was doing miracles, but I will tell them I never knew you. We didn't know you book no more. We didn't know you book no more. You are disobedient. You are disobedient. Get away from me. You who practice iniquity. Wa ukuti nya me iniquity ni adia. Wuni se ami aka se enye na wori ye. In the name of Jesus. It's your name in the book of life. First Corinthians. First Corinthians, you come to Jesus just as you are, but you don't remain the same. I'm reading from verse 9 to 11. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, medievalists and also, but you were washed by baptism, and you were sanctified by the Holy Spirit, but you and you have been justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ by the Spirit of our God. Christ my identity, my identity no etimimu, the Holy Spirit is in me that empowers me to keep the commandments of God. Titus chapter 2, verse 11. Titus chapter 2, verse 11. Titus 2, 11. Let's hear the word of God. Titus 2, 11. Titus chapter 2, 11. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness, that is born some kingdom in the end, and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Why? Because we are looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. He had a years soon. Our citizenship is in heaven. We are waiting for Jesus. 
On April 15, 31 AD, Christ made that possible for all. Everybody can be a citizen of the kingdom of God. All you have to do is to follow the steps we are studying. Since it is God who is the author of this book, no pastor, no bishop, no cardinal, no prophet can even recommend to God in order for a person to be considered righteous in God's sight, what must that person do? So you remember can say we are in India again as I say we first John chapter three verses seven to nine. First John chapter three verses seven to nine. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God, listen here, does not commit sin. For his seed remained, that's the Holy Spirit, remained in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. In this the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. But what is the meaning of sin? Look, look listen to verse, verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. And Satan is telling you, you don't need to keep the commandments of God. All the citizens of heaven keep the commandments of God. And they have the faith of Jesus Christ. Our walk with God must match with our talk. Luke 6, 46. Why do you call me Lord, Lord? And yet you do not do what I told you to do. Why do you call God Radi, Radi, Radi? Yes, way, yes, way. Or some of you say, I don't know, I mean, I don't know, I don't know, I don't say, you know, when you are you a saint? Do you have the identity card? Is the spirit of God is in you? In you? Are you a citizen of heaven? I will continue next week for the part two. Don't mess it. Prepare. Because one same peak can't show why. Bob Wow Unkwaje. Yamitun for me that was it. Boy, you need to see you. You can't see you in the actual. You can't see me. You can't and pai boni wo jesus christ e den munti nyame asom je ntena wo so ntena oman gana so na yen som nyame hohom no no kwa mu no be ya nyankwa ma yen kra men pai boni wo jesus christ e den munti amen